Nat's going to show us how to build a simple aquaponics system using a recycled barrel. Be sure that your barrel hasn't contained any nasty substances before you use it, but you can wait till you've cut the barrel open before cleaning it out. Measure 20 centimeters down from the top lip of the barrel and mark a number of points around the outside of the barrel. Join up all of your marks to make a neat cutting line. Once this is done, drill a hole on the line for your jigsaw blade to enter. Once you've cut the top off your barrel, now's the perfect time to give it a good clean out. Then when you're finished, if you sit the top small section, the grow bed, upside down on the top of the fish tank, you'll see that it doesn't fit very neatly on the top of the fish tank. We need to shrink the diameter of the top of the barrel so that it fits neatly into the top lip of the grow bed. Mark the top of the fish tank into four equal sections. Now we're going to mark down the edge of the fish tank 15 centimetres or 6 inches. And at the top, a point about 1 centimetre either side of the original mark. The idea here is that we're going to take a total of about 8 centimetres or 3 inches out of the top circumference of the fish tank. Once you've marked out your V-shapes, cut them out with your jigsaw, being very careful of your fingers. Once your V's are cut out, you need to measure and mark out two holes on either side of your cutouts. These are where we're going to use cable ties or zip ties to pull it in together. Zip ties bring it in nicely and once you've tightened them a little, you can cut them off on the inside to neaten the whole job. It may not look very round at this stage, but don't be worried. 
Now we need to cut an access hole so that we can feed the fish and check the pump from time to time. We decided to make it a nice fish shape cut out. You can do whatever shape you like. Be sure to make your cut out fairly high up on your fish tank. The lower it is, the less water you can have in your fish tank. Just like before, you'll need to drill a hole first so that you can get your jigsaw blade into the barrel. Be sure to drill the hole on the inside wasted cutout area. Once the fish has been cut out, we'll need a hole for the pump's power cord. Use a hole saw with a large enough diameter to get the plug through the hole. In the base of the grow bed we need to cut two holes, one for the water intake coming up from the pump into the grow bed and the other for the drain. We use a plug and waste drain fitting and the inlet is a tank fitting. Here you can see all of the fittings we use in the system. Of course there are many different ways of making your irrigation and drainage system. This is the method that we prefer. The last step is to wash out your media. We're using expanded clay. You can push an elbow onto the bottom of your drain fitting and then attach a pipe to drain away the excess dirty water. Be sure to hold the media guard in place when pouring in the expanded clay.